Have you been affected in some way by cancer? The majority of us would probably say yes. Take a minute and think about what that means. With over 100 different types of cancer and every part of your body being vulnerable to it, the disease has become the second leading cause of death in the United States. It's no wonder so many of us have been affected by it, especially since cancer doesn't discriminate against anybody either. Regardless of age, gender, race, ethnicity, and economic status, we can all be faced with it in some way. In 2015, WGBY held a digital storytelling workshop where all the participants had been affected by cancer in some way. It was a very powerful workshop to say the least. The facilitators went into the workshop prepared for it to be a deep and emotional time and while it was, they were pleasantly surprised about how optimistic the participants were, how full of life they were, and how eager they were to share their stories. Judy Allen was one of the memorable participants of that workshop, and she was excited about the opportunity to learn how to produce her own story. After a long battle with cancer, Judy passed away in 2015. As a tribute to Judy, let's watch her story. I am a fortunate person. I lead a charmed life. I want for little. I dream dreams. Many I make come true, like last fall when I fulfilled a 20-year desire to go to Bhutan to see gorgeous handwoven textiles and visit friends. I've had careers as a librarian, organizational consultant and trainer, and bereavement counselor. All of my life, in keeping with my nature and patchwork careers, I've been seeking to ask good questions. To my mind, there are many answers out there. It is the questions that are a challenge to formulate. Well thought out, especially in medical matters, they lead one to accurate information resulting in caring support to others and to oneself. In my experience of huge life events like the illness and death of my parents over nine years and fallopian tube cancer with metastases to my lymph system and brain over seven years, it's not the time to ask why questions. How and who are the more rewarding answers to seek? How will I learn enough to make smart decisions about my parents' health and safety and my own? Who will help me in my quest? Cancer cells are smart and eventually figure out how to elude whatever treatment a patient is receiving. Luckily mine, although adventurous, are on the lazy side and slow growing. I think of cancer as the uninvited guest that has become a permanent resident in my world. As a gracious host, I make every effort to integrate cancer into my life so that it becomes part of who I am but does not define me. Judy was such an inspiration, and her strength and outlook on her diagnosis can be admired by many. Judy's passion for life never allowed her to give up, and she had an impact on all who knew her. Whether it's you who has been diagnosed or a loved one, it's never something easy to accept but we must stand by each other and support one another through the difficult journey. We often underestimate our strength, but we all have a lot of fight in us. To those who have lost their battle with cancer, we celebrate your lives and we keep you alive in our memories. <laughs>